Hello, folks, and welcome to yet another incredibly engaging episode of Manza Media. I am your host, Zachary. Gosh, I mean, how many times am I going to talk about Bing Crosby's Merry Christmas? I haven't talked about it once on this channel, but I love it so much, and I grew up with it. I can't talk about this anymore. It's been done to death. Let's talk about something that not a lot of people are talking about, and they should be. So today we're going to talk all about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Frosty the Snowman, Santa Claus is coming to town, we're talking about the Rankin Bass, classic Christmas specials. Founded almost 60 years ago today, September 14, 1960, Arthur Rankin Jr. and Jules Bass created Videocraft International. From 1960 to 1968, the Rankin Bass Production Company has long since been defunct since 1987, 33 years ago. But it still rings true today. And I thank my mom and my family for putting it on, putting that stuff on for me when I was a kid. Because it was formative to the inspiration that I had to create these videos and create stuff that's uh, out of the box and creative and different and you know get in get into loving animation and early it's just a sensory thing for kids they get the sights of it they look at the charming animation um which by the way the the animation was outsourced in actually tokyo japan um you think this is just a beloved american company and all all these years i thought that and it in fact enhances the intrigue in fact for me that um these beloved things that, that just have so much charm weren't even created here. The world is an amazing place in that way. And I think that every kid should grow up with that. I just, I was talking to a friend the other day and he was constantly hearing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Santa Claus is coming to town, Fred Astaire singing it, uh, just Burl Ives and, and he, he just couldn't uh, get it out of his head because his kid's obsessed with it right now and is watching it. Music and lyrics for Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer were written and uh, lyrics were by Johnny Marks. And um, I, here I have the original motion picture soundtrack, um, a Videocraft TV musical spectacular. And it changed the world. It was, it was aired on CBS in 1964. Who better could they cast to depict the snowman, the lovable snowman as um, country star and balladeer Burl Ives. His voice is the snowman. It is, he is this character. This is him in, 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 in recent years. It's actually funny. I think he looks like a snowman rendition of Burl Ives to me. I just think it's an audio and, and a visual spectacular. It really is. All of the Rankin Bass um, productions are that for me. And I, they stick to me to this day. I remember watching the little drummer boy obsessed with Frosty the Snowman. And of course, my beloved favorite is Santa Claus is Coming to Town, featuring, of course, Fred Astaire and Mickey Rooney as Santa Claus. So. The golden years of Rankin Bass could be capsulized in between 1964 with the debut of Rudolph and 1970 with Santa Claus is Coming to Town. In between there were 1969's Frosty featuring um, Jimmy Durante as the narrator. The narrator would then in 1970 be Fred Astaire as the mailman, if you remember. Of course, Mickey Rooney would be Santa and we'd learn about Santa Claus and how he became to learn his laugh and we'd learn uh, little side characters like Topper the Penguin and the Winter Warlock and all that kind of stuff. It all stuck with me. It all is, is ingrained in my brain. And as it is for uh, most kids um, that grew up in the 80s, 90s, um, because that was still popular. And I think it is still popular today. The only issue is you can't stream any of these right now and I think it's a copyright issue. I think it's a copyright with the Rankin Bass production. It's still under contract, maybe with Freeform or ABC Family, and that's where they have to air everything. And if you don't have cable like me, if you're a cord cutter like we are, you don't see them. You don't ever see them. I don't own them. I don't have them on Blu-ray or DVD. Um, I should. I would love to have all the albums because the music is just as engaging as the visuals and the cast, the lineup of, of the voice talent. Um, it's just, the music is so 
consistent. The music is all consistent in every short and special Christmas special that uh, Rankin Bass had put out. Um, it all has that same kind of kitschy 60s feel to it, um, while also being orchestrated and really standing the test of time and all being timeless. In my opinion, it's all so timeless. I'll never forget the Burgermeister Meisterberger by uh, Paul Fries, uh, known Disney talent as a voice cast for Disney's golden age. He, uh, he did a lot of uh, voice work for Disney. Gosh, it feels like that cassette of Santa Claus is Coming to Town was on all the time in the car. I loved it so much, and I loved Rudolph just as much. Frosty, too. Frosty was my go-to. He made me love snowmen when I was a little kid. And this snowman, I loved both of them. Just the fact that they put him with a, a little cold pocket watch and nice vest, classic hat, oh, and those gloves. I just, I, I loved it. I loved how dapper this snowman was growing up. And I still, I, I still, I still do. I never took this album out of the shrink. It's got the shrink wrap with the hype sticker. This classic holiday album includes a holly jolly Christmas and silver and gold. This is on Decca Records, a nice heavy pressing. Just, uh, just beautiful. Side A features the instrumental tracks um, by musical director Maury Laws. Uh, music and lyrics by Johnny Marks. Kind of like if you were to sit down for a show and they're just playing theme music in the background um, before the show begins. This is kind of that in the side one. It's very soft, peaceful, kind of mellow music mellow renditions, nothing that, that's going to take away from the songs that we know on side two um, is the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Ranger TV special, as you remember it. And they call these instrumental foxtrots, uh, which is what they are. Uh, they really, really are. Like songs like We Are Santa's Elves, We're a Couple of Misfits. They're, all of Rankin Bass have those little foxtrot tracks. Um, where it's just like got that nice little soft brush brush on the drums and it's just like It's it's trotting along. It's bouncy. It's catchy and memorable is what's most important It really really made an impact make it so I can watch it every year and not have to buy I, I, You know either the DVD or get cable. I don't want cable. I want to watch it on streaming I mean, I suppose like I could buy it and rent it there, but I wished a streaming service like Netflix or Hulu would pick these up. I don't see why Hulu couldn't. Freeform is a Disney branch off of ABC Family and Hulu is owned by Disney. Why can't the Rankin Bass Christmas specials be on Hulu? I don't believe they are at this time, but that would be great. Anyway, if you've never seen the Rankin Bass Christmas specials, I need you to really look into them because you're gonna love them you're gonna just fall in love with them uh, the stories the voices the music the talent the talent is so immense with the specials time was really taken and the top ones to look out for of course Rudolph Frosty the Snowman Santa Claus is coming to town I would also check out a year without a Santa Claus love that one love 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 that one too it was a great time Growing up with the uh, Christmas specials of Rankin Bass. All really classic, great Christmas stuff that is great in our American culture today and still somehow ends up standing the test of time. Probably because somebody showed it to me and I would show it to somebody and um, their parents would show it to them and it just would get handed down and that's exactly how stuff grows. And talking about spreading the word, look at that. True Tone light bulbs. Check these out. True Tone had sent this to me to talk about, so I just figured I would put it in my last Christmas video of the season before, it's 11 days before Christmas now. It's whatever, 10 or 11, nine days before Christmas. Uh, you, you gotta, for next year or now, they probably can get it to you. Um, before Christmas is these True Tone light bulbs. These are LED bulbs, you'd never know it. These are LEDs. They, uh, they, they've got a beautiful cover on them that is so reminiscent of the classic mid-mod um, Christmas lights, the mid-century modern Christmas lights that you see. And I, I don't know about you, but I see them on people's houses and I point them out to, my, to Steph, Stephanie, and I'm like, God, look at those. 
I've had them on now and they are a little bit warm and that says that it's completely safe. It uses 90% less energy, long life of 25,000 hours of Christmas. You get all the benefits of an LED light bulb with these long lasting, no problems. They're never going to go out, you know, for it's indistinguishable from the from the vintage incandescent light bulbs that we all knew that we all still have. But these really, really, really embody that classicness. Look at the, the base of each. It's just so classic. You got a classic hook design. That, that They were great to send this to me. You guys, not only do these bulbs look amazing on or off, but they smell like pine. You get them and I can't stop smelling the smell of pine. It's everywhere in this package. I, I, uh, I commend them for the, the, um, the vintage retro design that their box has. They give you this little um, pamphlet with their sample kit. They retail around $30 to $40 um, per box. I've seen a lot of the people I follow are, are, um, are pushing these. They, they're amazing. They really are. Santa recommends Christmas True Tone Christmas lights. I recommend True Tone Christmas lights. If you love mid-century modern and you love good packaging, you love a good brand, you love somebody who's gonna send you a sample kit, uh, God, great brand. The bulb is an incandescent, traditional glass ceramic coating, precise vintage color. You're not gonna get that vibrant blue and that vibrant white and that cold blue white that, that's out there with the LEDs. I hate those LEDs that have like that neon blue that pierces your eyes and that white that's too cold. These are warm, warm and inviting, just like the incandescence of the day. These really evoke the Christmas spirit for me. I love them. I love that they were able to send this to me. I love that the packaging smells like pine. Just makes me so excited for the Christmas to come. And so it is. True tone light bulbs. While I'm out telling you people to check out, Coffee Table Vinyl is an Instagram page that I just love. Great style, great picks and music. He, he knows how to really photograph these things well and make uh, kind of a collage feel to every post he does. If you love vinyl like I do, I love just uh, perusing through and seeing all the music. The collage posts fit with all the pictures and memorabilia around the album in the, in the uh, posts are all reminiscent of the band and of the music. Beach Boys fan, as am I. And he gives a big synopsis about the music that was made in every post. He gives a little history and biography. He knows a lot. So if you just want to add a little bit of vinyl in your day, go ahead and follow Coffee Table Vinyl. You'll always see good posts. And his coffee table is awesome. Whatever he photographs his records on, excellent. And he gives you a little bit of the taste of the music. At the very end, you'll see a video of him spinning. And you'll hear a little bit of the top tracks or his favorite tracks. And you'll learn a little bit more about the music. So um, that's a good way to learn about what could be your new favorite record. So follow Coffee Table Vinyl today. That's going to be it for this video and my two shout outs. You guys have a great holiday. Whatever you celebrate, if you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for following along with these videos. I really appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, you could find me lounging to a melody. Take care, folks, and Merry Christmas. again folks for checking out this episode if you do feel so inclined as to follow me on social media you may gladly do so at manza media art and manza media on every other platform if you like prints i've got an etsy shop where you can pick up some of my original artwork and fan artwork i'll catch you folks on the next episode of manza media uh -huh.